Okay, in this sort of installment of the JMRI software and loco buffer tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the JMRI software as a throttle instead of using the, the sort of handheld walk around throttle that we're all used to seeing. One of the cool advantages to doing this on the computer is that you can set up as many throttles as you want on your screen, as many as you can fit up there and run them all simultaneously and you don't have to switch between you know like the uh, Digitrax has two throttles on it you switch between the left and the right to control them as fast as you can click a mouse between the throttles you can be controlling many different uh, locomotives at the same time so what you do is go to tools go to throttles and if this is the first time setting it up you go to new throttle let's move this down here where you guys can actually see it that's what the throttle looks like. Just go in here to the address panel and type in 2715 because that's the one I want to use. Turn on the power. The locomotive comes to life. Got your bell, got your horn, all your various uh, function keys. Let's turn on these guys. Turn on the light. And just click there to go forward. Reverse. So how cool is that? And there's an emergency stop right there. So it's got all your basic uh, throttle settings on here. And like I said, if I wanted to, I could go to Tools, Throttles, New Throttle, and set up a different one if I wanted to for a different locomotive. So here's a close-up of what the throttle panel looks like. Unfortunately, I don't have a screen capture program for the PC. I have a real nice one for the Mac, but I don't have one for the PC, so I've just got to actually film the screen here, which is kind of lame, but hopefully this gives you a good view. Now, as I was saying, one of the cool features about this software is that you can launch multiple throttles. So I can set up a new throttle here, right there, and again, and just give each one a different decoder ID, and just have these all open all at the same time, so I can be running several locomotives at once. So, the uh, throttles in the JMRI software. Pretty cool. They're the basic, basic throttles, but it's kind of cool that they're on the screen. And they operate just like the real thing. That's all for now in this little short video. I just wanted to show you the throttles. The next one will show you uh, programming. It's going to be a couple of days probably because I'm waiting for my new command station booster, the, the DCS-100 I think it's called. I'm, my memory is fading. Um, I want to get that one so that I can actually read all the decoder settings and CV settings from my locomotives, get them into a roster, and then modify them from there rather than starting from scratch. So. Uh, I'll have that up in a couple of days when that item arrives. I ordered it from DCC Sales and Installs, 
and I'm pretty sure it shipped yesterday, the day I ordered it, which they normally do, and uh, it should be on its way to me, so I'll probably have it on Monday. So that's it for now. Have fun, guys. Talk to you later.